Hi guys, this is Pradeep. Uh, so this is our second video from P2P series. In our previous video, I have given the intro about P2P. In this video, I'm going to give you the intro about the ERP which we are going to use. That is our SAP application. Uh, I will show you how to log in uh, this SAP applications. What are different icons are there or how you are going to work, where you are going to work. And uh, also I'm going to use some, uh, I'm going to show you some terms which you are going to use here or which I'm explaining in my demonstration. So you should comfortable on the technical side also. Now let's go into the SAP system and uh, we will learn how to use that particular SAP application or it is you can say this is uh, the interaction or the introduction related to our SAP ERP. Log into SAP system. So there should be a user ID and password will be there like my user ID. So I log into the system. Now the first screen which it is there, it is known as your EG access. Easy access or you can say here you are going to work as a consultant so uh, sorry uh, as a as an user you are going to work here the back end is there that is for the consultant but right now you know how to use that particular application and for that you will find that some you can see different folders are there when you are using the application as per your team you are going to use that particular folder or that area you are going to work then Sometimes I'm going to navigate the system like through navigation or I will just like this. Suppose I want to perform some activities and in that case I can navigate the system like this. So I can navigate here. Suppose like this accounting, then I, I will financial accounting, general ledger, document entry. In this way I can navigate the system. This is one way. Second option. I can also use the shortcuts or those are known as your transaction codes very popularly you will find T codes and uh, being user it is always good if you can remember these T codes so these are the technical names or the technical terms to execute one app program or the program so you have to remember these T codes because in interview maybe T code related questions will be there for example same activity that last screen which I was showing so that also I can navigate or sorry I can use by using the transaction code and here you will find is place is there where we can enter the T code so which we can type so if I will enter here a B50 I will get the same screen in one second or very quickly we can also access through the transaction code so I will just put my cursor here and I will use here a B50 now you can see immediately I got the same screen now in office which one you are going to use it you have both options you can use T code or you can use the navigation if you come if you are comfortable with T code it's just like shortcuts you can say if you're comfortable with the T code so you can use T code otherwise you can use navigation but in interview you may get the questions related to T codes also they want to see how practically you actually you have used the system right so that's why I'm going to show you both options when I will do the system demonstration so system navigation as well as T code and as I said the screen is known as your easy access simply you can say it is SAP window but actually it is known as easy access now I want one more window simultaneously just like you are opening different tabs in your Google so if I want one more window you can see here this is the option so this this one you can use this one just click here you will find one more window I just click here you will find one more one more okay so how many windows are there right now one two three four so as per the versions which application which version we are using accordingly it will be there so starting from 6 that is the older version 6 and here you will find 12 like in my latest of application it will be 12 versions will be there 12 uh, GUI can be or new window session we can open because when practically you will work in the system you need multiple windows just like you have uh, multiple tabs in your Google or different uh, seats required in Excel so simultaneously you need multiple windows right if you want to lock off from one particular window particular one just click use this one it's showing that log off so you just click here you will log off from the so if, if I will log off again then finally I will log off from the application right and this is known as your SAP login or this is known as your SAP 
uh, screen where you are going to work on these different areas and it is our sap easy access and i use the sap login there is another option is there fury is there that is the cloud one that i will show in a different vid video but here we are using on premises if you can remember these terms it is good but not required at this level or for you it is not required fine again when uh, uh, for demonstration purpose I'm going to use here one entity as our example and that entity we are saying that it is our company code no need to go into what is company code and all this this is you can say company code we are going to use just like for example let's say you are going to work for Tata so Tata is one entity so that we are saying say Tata company but every company code is defined with some codes so that code in office when you will join so you will get that you are going to work on this company code this is your entity where you are going to work i'm going to use all the, i'm going to demonstrate everything on a company code which is z005 which i configured for demonstration purpose in backend all the configurations and all but for you all this not required as you are going to learn how to use that application how so this company code so wherever i am going to use z005 so this is nothing but my entity or my company code then one term i am going to use that is plant so that is also i have taken z005 so that it will be easy for you to remember you will not get confused so plant is nothing but you can assume it is factory so where all these production activities are there so that i am going to use then i am going to use here uh, one term that is our purchase organization so these are again all the configuration terms so purchase organization means for purchase activity point of view which are which is our intent now this is your highest node that means the group you can say so that means under this is our operation one entity abc limited so let's say this is our company abc limited so uh, this abc limited technically or in coding we created as z005 now under this abc limited we have multiple plants are there location x location we have planned in uh, location x we have planned in location y we have planned in other countries also so we have multiple plants are there and for demonstration purpose i have taken one plant here then purchase activity we are going to do as it is p2p so that means definitely we are going to purchase so that purchase organization also I have created as z05 so these are practically i'm going to use in different documents or different transactions so that's why i thought like i will give one intro related to this so that in future you are not going to confuse right so these and uh, when you will join the company you will get this information so when the KT will be done or when the, they are going to give the onboard training they will give all the information like in which company code you are going to work which plant you are going to use which vendor you are going to although you are going to learn vendor creation but all this information you are going to create okay so oh, sorry you are going to get it from your uh, uh, your from your manager or from your team and you are going to use it which also I'm going to demonstrate so I hope the system part is clear if anyone is new i'm sure maximum participants are very comfortable in the system as they are currently using it but if anyone is not uh, like if you are completely new then no need to worry so the system navigations and all i'm doing very slowly so that it will help you thank you